Today I want to present you a very, very reliable city compact car. It's about the brand new Mazda 2 facelift 2024. And in this video, I want to talk about the changes that Mazda bring on this Mazda 2 facelift, even though they are not big changes, they are some important changes and I want to present you. And I saw in the last period of time that people doesn't put too much attention onto this car and I think it's a it's a shame because this Mazda 2 it's it's an incredible car it has great material quality great great driving feeling plus it's a reliable reliable car at least with this 1.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line that we will talk in this video and also we will talk in the test drive video so stay close if you want to see those videos as well and also it's a beautiful car as we all probably know Mazda really really make super nice designs when it comes with exterior design and beauty now I want to give you some technical data and some information about the car and then we will start the review interior exterior and I try to bring you all the important information of the car if you want to see the test drive video and the consumption video I will have two separate videos on my channel so check those videos out if you want to find out more information about the car now guys if you are in Bucharest in Romania and you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car you can go at Arian Motors I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so check them out they are super nice they will help you with everything they already have the car there so yeah definitely check them out now the version that I have with me is the Homura version I'm not going to go too much into detail with the version you have around four different version from where you can choose from and Homura is the second one then you have another two uh, on the end and the price of this car with only one option because on this Mazda 2 that I have with me it has only one option and the option is the color and the name of the color is ceramic if you're wondering the color 340 euro extra for the color otherwise all the options that the car come with that we will talk in this video are integrated into the price and the price of the car with all the taxes included 20,430 euro here at Ariane Motors let me give you some options that the car come inclusive on this Homura version wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto heated steering wheel heated seats leather steering wheel it comes also with blind spot a monitoring in the mirrors you will see it a little bit later it comes with the lane assist it comes with uh, parking sensors on the rear heated mirrors LED lights 16 inch wheels alloy wheels some 12 volt ports and G vectoring control this is something that we definitely have to talk about the G vectoring control it's an amazing uh, let's say power distribution torque distribution that allow you to have incredible stability in the corners on the curves that allow you for that allow the car for example while you're driving to lower the power then uh, when you go in curve the car will lower the power a little bit the torque then the the weight will go on the front wheels and then the front wheels will have more grip and then will release it's, it's a super interesting intelligent system I'm not going to go into much details but it's a super intelligent system that allow the car to play with the torque and power and brake in order to give you great cornering and, and stability over the corners we will talk about that probably a little bit more in the test drive video so check out that video as well also it's inclusive in this price the uh, six year warranty or up to 150,000 kilometers it comes also with electric uh, windows front and rear the tinted windows on the rear and on the back it comes also with reverse camera and the shark tail antenna outside six speakers the bluetooth and automatic climatic system more about that we will talk as we go in the video also another important option that i will definitely get on the car is the armrest because this car doesn't come with an armrest you can get it optional original om from mazda from the website and it's only around 250 euro around there depending which country you are so that will be super helpful i will definitely get the armrest other than that you can get also the navigation system on this version we don't have the navigation system installed and you have to pay some extra it's kind of an option to have the navigation but you probably don't need that because you can connect your phone 
and I will show you how you can do that. Uh, Apple CarPlay or Android, you can also connect it to the screen. So that's not super, super important. Now, I wanna give you some information about the car and technical data, and then we will go forward. Now you can get this car with a pure petrol engine, 75 horsepower, 90 horsepower, or 90 horsepower mild hybrid. You can get it also with an automatic transmission or with a manual transmission. Now, the version that I have with me is the mild hybrid version. I think it's probably the best version from my point of view, at least if you drive in the city, will be super helpful because the car come also with a small 48 volt battery and a small electric motor that help the car coasting, starting, and from time to time will help the petrol engine. We will talk about that and I will explain you how how it works in the test drive video and we have the manual six speed we have the manual six speed transmission that from my point of view it's really good i drive the car a little bit today and it was incredible how smooth and how nice it goes into the gears uh, the quality it's really really good and mazda everything you touch inside the car and even the transmission when you change the gears it feels really really perfect and it doesn't make you tired while you're driving even though you're driving in the city even though i'm not a big fan of manual transmission i think this one it's really good made in terms of technology technical data the car come with a 1.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line a very very reliable engine from what i heard also from mazda service they don't have problem not too many people come in service with this engine so it is really reliable 90 horsepower 151 newton meters the estimated consumption vltp 4.7 liters and euro 6 107 grams co2 emission the top speed of the car 183 km per hour and 0 to 100 the car can do in 9.8 seconds the weight of the car 1158 kilograms and the fuel tank capacity 44 liters it's a front wheel drive system also the turning radius 10.5 meter ground clearance 14.3 centimeters the trunk space 255 liter and if you fall down the seats completely you will get up to 887 liters it comes with ventilated brake disc on the front and drum brakes on the rear also when it comes to suspension independent mcpherson suspension on the front and torsion bars on the rear and i guess i give you all the technical data about the car let's start with the exterior interior uh, multimedia system and then in the end we will take the conclusion so let's do it guys this is the key the same key as mazda use it also on other models we have two buttons on the side here for lock and unlocking the car so you have to basically press the buttons in order to unlock the car and uh, lock the car because if you come close to the car it doesn't have the keyless entrance so once you are here you will see that the car will be locked other than that very nice very light key and it stays really really easy in the pocket to be honest even though it's based on the same platform same size small small changes on this facelift the biggest changes on the exterior it's the bumper in the front and also the grille and the colors also it comes with some extra new rims not this one but you can get it optional and also on the rear it comes also with a new bumper that i will show you in detail a little bit later but overall the size the di dimensions and also kind of the design it looks very very similar for some people that don't know too many things about mazda two uh, probably they won't even notice but because i saw the car before i know that the front end look much more sexy and much more uh, let's say uh, modern but not big changes probably just around five to ten percent changes in terms of visual looking otherwise mazda cars and mazda 2 it's a very nice car very nice lines and design the shape of the car it's quite attractive and probably i can say it's one of the most beautiful uh, in this class i mean it has really really nice design and and lines and also on this ceramic color i think the car looks great and also in this combination with a little bit of black on the rims uh, also the black radio antenna the black mirror caps and also some black 
on the front grille and also on the rear bumper. Also the great part is that you have so many colors, around 10 colors to choose from and the car look in so many colors good that you don't even know which color to choose. Up here I like the fact that on this Homura version you have this glossy black antenna. The roof spoiler it's pretty simple but in the same time nice and it, it fit quite well. You have a little bit of plastic mat here, tinted windows on the rear, tinted windows on the side. Also you have the brake lights, LED up here. This is the wiper on the rear, also on the side windows. Uh, you have a little bit of plastic mat here and then down here some rubber, then plastic mat between the windows. I like very much that the mirror caps are in black and it's a nice contrast with the color. Then you have here LED lights uh, turning signals and up here on the windscreen it comes with camera and sensors for raining and light and the camera now it's able on this facelift to read the traffic signs and so that's that's really really an improved feature it comes also with radar emergency brake and all that safety features are added now on the car the front end look also spectacular and pretty sexy i like the lines i like the front end uh, look it comes also with led headlights that looks pretty fine uh, you can see the turning signals are normal halogen bulb light led light daytime running led light look great doesn't come with uh, parking sensors on the front only on the rear i will show you a little bit later but i like very very much the front grille i think it looks really sexy really modern and the combination with a little bit of chrome and black glossy uh, the mazda logo in chrome look really good and i like this little red touch here on the side that looks really really interesting and even the down part here where you have the air intakes and uh, it's simple it's modern and i like it you have 16 inch wheels black really nice combination the contrast with the mirrors and all other black parts ventilated brake this on the front 16 inch wheels i like very much also that here behind this wheel they add this plastic protection and they add it until up here usually in most of the car it's only until here but this is very useful because you will uh, the car will be protected even though i definitely recommend you to add some pain protection film in this area uh, for more safety then the handles and the quality of the doors are also very good for the price range and for the size and category of the car so you can hear the door sounds pretty good so the quality quality is pretty nice and also the handles quite small quite aerodynamic a little bit inside the doors so they are quite fine here you have the tank 44 liter tank and <clears throat> if you want to open it you can do it from here also from here you open the front and i will show you also the engine bay in a second and here is the tank 44 liters even though they don't put too much high quality in this door here i think the most important thing is to offer you a good car with a good price and with good quality materials where it's really matter pretty simple quite the same as the previous version it looks quite nice and cute i should say uh, the back end some chrome Mazda logo, Mazda 2, and here you have the eSky Active G, so you know which version it is. It's based on this new technology. The fog lamps are LED lights. The turning signal is also halogen light. The reverse light, if I remember well, it's also an LED light. Uh, and also the tail lights are LEDs. Even though it doesn't look as fancy as the one from the Volkswagen Polo, for example, uh, I still think they are quite, quite. Uh, nice down here on the number plate reverse camera and the light down here on the number plate yellow light so i wish here to have some led lights otherwise i like the fact that you have parking sensors on this version four parking sensors on the rear and also i like this simplicity of the bumper on the down part with some glossy black it looks quite nice and the exhaust pipe it's right there visible it's really really visible one of the last car that have visible exhaust pipes and also you can get optional an extra extender for exhaust pipe that looks even bigger bulky what i was impressed to be honest to tell you it is the fact that on the rear the car come with drum brakes I, I i forget to tell you drum brakes the same as volkswagen id group uh, use it and not only id group also i think polo have uh, on some of the entry-level cars the thing that the engine it's quite silent 
is the most impressive thing. It's a super reliable engine and it's pretty silent. You barely feel any vibration inside the car and you barely, barely hear it. And other than that, they put a lot of quality up here on this trunk door. You can see a lot of rubbers here and here. I don't know how many cars uh, have so many rubbers and so many sound insulation. And from what I read yesterday about the car, is that on this facelift, Mazda try to improve the sound insulation and they add a lot of things. And I don't know which kind of things, but I think this is one of them. This is the engine Skyactiv G 1.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line combined with that mild hybrid system. Very silent, very reliable engine. Uh, this is the way it looks. Here's the liquid for the wipers, 12 volt battery, fuse box and the air filter down here. So yeah, definitely, definitely one of the most reliable engines that you can get these days. Let's go in the trunk to see the space. From here, you open the trunk, simple as that. You have a button there. It's a manual lift gate here in the trunk. The entrance relatively big for the size of the car. I would say you can fit in here a lot of items without any problem. And even after you fold down the seats, you will have plenty of space. Here you have a handle to close the trunk. You have some plastic at the entrance. You don't have a flat floor, but you have a pretty Pretty, pretty deep space right here deep entrance where you can add and fit a lot of items and also you have maybe 25 30 centimeter deepness here you have a normal yellow light on the left side otherwise not too many space left and right also under the floor you have some extra storage space not sure if it fit here a spare tire but you have the repair kit medical kit triangle and all that um, all that stuff that uh, you really need in, uh, in some countries uh, that are uh, mandatory. Now, if you want to fold down the seats, you have to fold it 60-40, but it's very simple to fold it. You have just uh, a button here. You just have to press it and then push it forward just like that. And also here, the same story, press this button, push it forward. And then once you do that, I want to show you, you don't have a flat floor. You have probably here around 10 centimeters step but otherwise for the size of the car i think you have more than enough space to fit in a lot of items uh, so yeah it's relatively good relatively practical 887 liters you have right now after you fold down the seats and yeah let me go on the other side because it's better uh, if you open the door i like very much the fact that you don't have left any window on the body of the car that mean allow them to have a bigger entrance in the car plus you have a better visibility when we will go inside i will show you also the seat belt you have to get it on the side and you can see that the entrance here it's relatively big and you can see also from this angle how the space in the back look like so yeah from my point of view pretty good also on the legs room you have plenty of space transmission tunnel a little bit bigger but yeah it's just it's just fine i think the space it's it's more than enough for the size of the car now before we go inside in the back i want to show you something I, I i just closed the door a little bit earlier and just hear this sound man hear this out the sound and the quality it's quite quite good that's really what people mean when they talk about mazda cars that have good quality those kind of stuff are really really important i already adjust the seats in my driving position so when i go inside i will show you the real space behind myself this is a big window from one piece but it's electric adjustable so you can leave it down until here you cannot fold it down all the way so that's something to keep in mind other than that everywhere here on the upper side you have plastic but you have a nice interesting trim down here you have soft material a stuff material in this area that's important and here you have a plastic hard so usually here should be also a soft uh, material but it is only here in this area i'm i'm not sure what is the idea behind that uh, but yeah you probably can uh, add yourself some extra aftermarket some soft material in this area but otherwise it looks quite nice down here you have a speaker no storage space in the doors right here in this area the entrance is relatively big as i showed you before so you can see one more time um, yeah this is the space here uh, behind 
uh, and also it comes with those stuff material, uh, textile material everywhere. The design is quite nice. Also, you have some side support, the red stitches here and here. You have ease of fix for child. You can install two child seats. The armrest here in the middle, you don't have any armrest, so that's the thing. Uh, but otherwise, they look quite, quite good seats. Behind the front seats, you have stuff material. I like that. No plastic or something like that. It's just stuff material. Now, let me go inside the car. And also, I want to close the door because this sun uh, make it worse for the camera. But once I'm going here, I'm 173 centimeters. This is the space behind myself. So I have, let's say, plenty of space for me, 173 centimeters, uh, no problem. And I adjust the seats in my driving position. So it's the perfect position for me. So I have more than enough space. Or so if I stay behind myself, I will have space. I can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat. So for me, at least, is no problem in terms of legs room, uh, headroom, like three and a half fingers. It's, it's also quite okay for 173 centimeters. It's not super comfortable to stay here in this position. I can't say it's crazy comfortable because you stay quite straight, but for short, medium trips will be fine. Up here you have a handle, hooks, the quality of the roof, it's from 1 to 10, let's say 6, but it's simple and I like the fact that it's white, that means make the interior of the car much more brighter. Otherwise, visibility outside, it's really, really good uh, because they extend the window, yeah, nothing to complain about that. In the middle you have a transmission tunnel, relatively big, you don't have any vents or USB ports, but you have some storage space here that are quite useful. If I go in the middle right now, it's a little bit higher here the space on my knees are still fine space on my head like one finger this time in the middle stretch my hand almost completely stretch my hand almost completely I can say you can have three people here maybe I don't know if it's a seat belt for the middle seat it is yes but in general I think for short trips will be fine in the city driving free person will be fine but for long distances quite hard here in the back the comfort also here is not super super good but yeah it's fine now going in the front guys to talk about all the things in the front there the changes are very minimal inside the car inside this facelift also it has some new different colors there but otherwise it's relative everything uh, the same and also the screen it's it's kind of uh, it has a few changes there that I will show you when we go there. And yeah, I, I find it uh, really practical and simple. And also the design, it's quite nice, it's modern. Everything is in the perfect position. And the fact that they use uh, most of them only physical buttons, this is incredible, practical and much more useful while you're driving the car. But yeah, anyway, let's go in the front. We have a slightly different approach on the front door because on the upper side, you have the same plastic with this interesting trim. And then you have the textile material in this area. And then here you have some rubber soft material. So this time it's really, really good. You have storage space here, pretty good storage space, relatively big. Then you have here the speaker. And then you have this nice carbon fiber effect. You can see this carbon fiber effect in the sun look really, really cool. It's not carbon fiber it's a fake but it looks really cool and it has also some carbon fiber effect around here inside the car in these areas and that make the car look much more interesting I saw in other countries not sure in Romania or yeah around here if it's if this area the roof it's also uh, kind of have a sticker in the same design as this carbon fiber it's not carbon fiber but I saw it that it's possible to get it in certain countries in Australia I think I saw that then you have here electric adjustable mirrors. You don't have folding mirrors. You have locked the windows, the button for the uh, windows electrically. The entrance in the car, relatively simple here. You can see the entrance. You can see the space here. Uh, you can see those fabric textile upholstery material. It looks quite simple and the combination with the red stitches look interesting here. You have side support, side support, four stitches here in the middle. They are quite comfy. I sit on them. They are quite, quite nice, but they are manual adjustable. You have to adjust it manually. That's something to keep in mind. Then you have the pedals down there, simple pedals. And then you have here, you saw it before, traction control, lane assist, start stop system. Up here you have the vents that feel good quality as you touch it. Uh, I really like the vents and plus this red touch around here feel great. Also up here 
plastic almost everywhere on the on the dash now let's go inside let me go inside the car visibility around the windows it's very good good design good visibility in the mirrors and also around the windows you have a great great visibility also you can see one more time the seat in the back and here you have storage space two cup holders manual handbrake but it's in leather and also the manual handbrake work quite quite fine i noticed that it's quite good quality and easy to use then you have physical button to control the screen the multimedia screen this is great while you're driving it's very useful uh, you have also the wheel for the volume and also the back button and the favorite button a little bit higher you have this stall to change the gears it's perfectly positioned i really like it because i tested before and i like the fact that it goes so easy into the gears and it's so easy to use if you go in reverse go down and just like that uh, it's super 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 good i like it and while you're driving it really feels good quality now if you go in reverse the car comes also with a reverse camera in this version pretty big image here the reverse camera is not super high quality but it's super useful because you have also those uh, lanes to help you guide you park the car so that's quite nice going forward a small space here for your phone you can leave your phone here i like the fact that you have some rubber down here two usb two ports plus you have this place where you can put the card for the navigation system here you have a 12 volt port and a little bit higher you have the climatic automatic climatic system and the physical wheels that you can uh, kind of set up the temperature and all that stuff it's super super useful and very simple to use and a little bit of chrome a little bit higher heated seats for you and the passenger heated steering wheel great feature in the same price that's also great i love those vents really the vents feel super good quality uh, you have also another type of vents that feel also quite nice and then you have this nice insertion here on the dash with a little bit of black glossy uh, plastic then you have the glow box relatively big you can add there a lot of stuff star stop button engine button up here and manual adjustable steering wheel down up forward backward simple as that it's a leather steering wheel very good quality steering wheel the grip it's great in a mazda style so like it here physical button for volume and some different information that you can see on the cockpit uh, telephone buttons and then from here you can adjust the autopilot and cruise control settings let me show you the cockpit this is the cockpit it's kind of digital on the left and right side and in the middle you have this analogical speedometer and then you can see on the left side the kilometer how much you can drive and the rpms and on the right side you can see also the consumption and the tank and the temperature from outside and you can change also different views there to see different informations yeah it's super practical and super simple they, they keep it simple i mean yeah you just drive the car you have the most important information right there in front of you a little bit higher here you have of course normal halogen light on the roof but you have also these buttons to turn it on uh, or off you have the microphones around here and you have this simple mirror so this is the mirror visibility in the back it's quite good and from here you can dim the mirror in the night time and up here you have also another mirror vanity mirror quite big quite nice but no light up here this is the multimedia system guys and here you can see so many information you can basically when the car it stays on the same place you can control it from here from those controllers but when you are parked with the car you can also use the touch screen buttons and because it's a mild hybrid you can see also the petrol engine the electric motor and the battery because it has it shows you a nice graphic with what happened with energy in real time also you can use touch screen check this out on mazda you can use touch screen but only when the car is parked and here you can see fuel economy monitoring with those information and the consumption there you can see also some extra information right here hide buttons you can see you can go here to see vehicle status monitoring if the car have any errors or warnings or maintenance information uh, you have the app carplay that i will show you a little bit later then you have the media here 
you go to the media, radio and all that settings. You have the navigation that is not installed on the car. You have to buy extra to have it, but you don't need it if you control, you can, if you connect your Android or Apple CarPlay. And then you have all the settings of the car. So you can see uh, here is the display settings, the safety settings like smart city brake, emergency brake, blind spot technology, lane keeping assist, parking sensor indication. From here you can choose how you like to intervene and how you like to set it up. The sound here settings, the clock settings, the vehicle settings, you have raining sensors, door lock, turning lights, speed alarm and all that settings are around here, device here, you can connect to the Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android and then you have the system settings with language, temperature, distance and all other settings. It's pretty simple, it's basically a super super simple multimedia system but it's very useful and it's also position it pretty well. It's not tilted to the driver. I wish Odo to be tilted to the driver a little bit, but yeah, it is kind of straight in the front right there. Now guys, the question is how you can control, let me turn on my phone and let me go to Bluetooth, turn on the Bluetooth. And I want right now to connect my iPhone to this screen and I want to show you how you can do that. So first of all you just go here to application, Apple CarPlay. Once you are here add new device and then it will ask you if you are okay. You just press okay and then it's searching for the devices right now. It's searching basically for my device as well and once you're going here you should find the Mazda. You see I find it down here on my device. Press Mazda once and once you press it, it tried to pair. And you can see it asked me to pair it. You just press OK and then here OK on my phone. I'll load the contacts and then you will get uh, searching pair in progress. Use CarPlay. Just press use CarPlay. Agree right here. And right now I'm just connected to Dan's iPhone. And this is how easy it is to connect it and this is how cool it is because you save some money, you don't even need anymore the map in order to use it, to use it like that. So you just have to leave your phone around here and you use all the functions from your phone. So that's very, very useful. And right now it's just connected. It can uh, show you right here that you are connected and you can see all the information about my phone for example. And if you go back here, if you go back to home, you will see up in the corner this Apple CarPlay. All you have to do is just press it and it goes to Apple CarPlay. And the cool part is that you can use it with a touch uh, screen just like that super super easy you have all the functions here plus you can use the voice command from the steering wheel from here you press it three seconds mm -hmm. navigate to Paris getting directions to Paris and that's it guys how easy it is how cool it is you have all the functions press go Starting and then you have all those route guidance and information Proceed right there on the, the front and not only that but it's crazy nice plus you have to you can control it also from here you don't have to while you're driving you control it from here so you don't have to go and use the touch screen anymore so that was all guys i hope i cover a lot of things on this car i hope the video was useful if you find it useful don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that that will help me a lot to create more of those kind of videos really really appreciate your support thank you very much to all the members of the channel that um, help us to grow and help us to bring more and more cars to the channel so i really appreciate that also from my point of view a great reliable car for the city if you are in bucharest in romania check out arian motors i will leave the link in the description also on the screen check them out check you can go to test drive the car or buy it or see the car you might be surprised on how good the car it is so thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe don't miss out the test drive with the same car and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.